Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana shows some weakness here. Yeah, I must say um, it's coming down in this wave two at the moment. I see it as a corrective wave two to the and has nearly touched the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. So we now have here from the low at around $26. We had a wave one to the upside, we had a wave two to the downside, and we can be, that is how it's currently looking like, in a wave three. Within this wave three, we're waiting for wave two to finish and for the wave three of the wave three to start. To give you a target for the wave three is a little bit too early. I mean, we can make some speculations, but it depends on how low this wave two is coming. At the moment, it has come to a key support level. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it lost the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. And by losing it, it also moved out to the downside of this descending wedge, which you could have until then seen as a bull flag. Now, this is, of course, now not relevant anymore. Um, now, what is still relevant, though, is probably this descending trend line here, because this could be on a move to in a scenario where we actually move to the upside, be a possible um, resistance level, plus it could be a breakout level to the upside. Now, what is going on here? So at the moment, nothing that would be unusual for a wave two. As soon as we get below 33.45, I would, I would see the bearish, a possible bearish scenario becoming much more likely. Now, bear in mind what I told you throughout this entire uptrend. We talked about the importance of going above the 48.41 level. Yeah, this is the previous wave four high. And I've always mentioned only a move above that will significantly invalidate a lot of possible bearish patterns. Yeah, a wave four, a breakout above a previous wave four. This has not happened yet. Yeah, so for now we are still in a in a possible selling zone, and I always told you above forty eight forty one we can unlock prices first of all all the way up to fifty eight dollars. Now we we didn't get there. We didn't get there. We are currently uh, we didn't even reach that level. We actually moved to the downside a little bit earlier. We could not hold the forty dollar level, which is also a sign of weakness. And we are now coming down here currently close to the 78.6% FIB level. So $35 would be the next key support level where we have a cha chance to reverse to the upside. Yeah. Um, how do I, by the way, look at this from a wave two point of view? We, we take a look at the lower level wave count in a minute. Um, but if we lose $35, if we lose the 78.6% the FIB level, I think we're going to see this 88.7% this FIB level. But Again, if we go below that, the bearish scenario will get much more likely because then below that 88.7% FIB level, it's just very unlikely that this year is still a wave two. Then we have to see it with a higher likelihood that all of this was just a corrective wave up and we're currently in an impulse to the downside. So this is currently the, the dilemma in which we are. Yeah? But at the moment, a wave two, yes, the 78.6% FIB level for a wave two, not a problem. But still, I would have liked to see it stop between the 50% and the 61.8. That is normally the area where a wave two with the highest likelihood would reverse. The 78.6 is still okay. But as, as soon as you get to the 88.7, it's getting a bit critical. Now, looking at this lower level wave count, I currently believe that we are coming down in a WXY pattern here. So this was the wave W, this is the X wave. We are now in the Y wave, similar to Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the projection target for that, where we should ideally land. So we have already reached the one to one projection target that was here $36. Next target would actually be the, yeah, the 1.618, but that is $31.46. Going there will take us below that wave too low and it would invalidate this WXY because in this white wave two, you cannot go below the beginning of the white wave one. Yeah, so down here, basically the wave two, uh, the wave two low in yellow. We cannot go below that. If we do, then it's invalidating this entire impulse. Okay, 
So this is the level we need to look out for. I would still primarily expect until we go below 33, uh, 45 that we have a chance to go higher. Um, until then, however, when, when we reach that level, it will get critical. So there's also a trend line you could possibly draw here, but at the moment we only have two touch points. Now that would be below the 88.7% FIB level. So let's see if we find some support there. But for now, what I can tell you, I have no evidence that this downtrend is over yet. Yeah, I have no evidence for that. So at the moment we still need to be on the lookout for lower levels, but we are also waiting for buyers to come in. Um, and I think a breakout above the $40 level yeah, and a move above the descending trend line would give us a good signal that wave two in fact is finished. And then we can start to move up impulsively. But until then, there's a risk we come down again and make a lower low. Yeah, this is still not off the table. Um, so at the moment, key levels to look out for $35, 33, 45 and 31, 65. To the upside, I would say it's the $40 level. That breakout point here in yellow, last time we got above that level, we moved all the way up to $47, $48, okay? All right, and that's currently my view about Solana. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.